In tonight's Mino Project, most of us have our Christmas trees up and decorated by now. But John Mino takes us inside the mystery behind a legendary ship and why many of Chicago's less fortunate had to spend a year without a Christmas tree. It's a story you'll see only on NBC 26. It was over 100 years ago, but the final chapter of the Rouse Simmons, which disappeared off the Lakeshore Coast in 1912, has yet to be written. It's the Rogers Street Museum of Two Rivers, which is the hub of lore and continued investigation of this ship's final voyage. This story isn't as much about wooden sails as it is a story of a captain, part businessman, part humanitarian, who made yearly trips bringing Christmas trees from Upper Michigan to Clark Street Dock in Chicago. He would set up his sign, the Christmas tree ship, my prices are the lowest. If they didn't have enough money, he gave the trees away. Captain Herman Schoenemann was his name, as rugged and stubborn as any, maybe more so. At Manistique, there were a bunch of old hands that said, don't go out, there is a storm coming. Before leaving port, a sight that chills sailors to the bone. Rats are leaving the ship. Who scoffed at the superstition and who walked away? One of the lingering mysteries. His crew abandoned him. We will never know the total number that went down in that ship. Just hours after setting sail, battered and taken on water, experts believe the ship was about to set anchor and ride out the worst storm of the year. But before they could... A swell came, lifted the ship like this from the stern. He's heading towards land. The bow is now down. The anchor fell off. That anchor took them down. And so it wasn't until 1971 that the wreckage was finally found in nearly 200 feet of water a couple miles off of two rivers. Now the museum is home to a variety of artifacts collected by divers back when collecting artifacts was still legal. Enough to recreate the final scenario. He could actually see over the top of the cabin and of course then he would be steering the ship here. Among the collection, cargo never delivered. This is an actual Christmas tree from the Christmas tree ship itself. This is one of the few that are still existent. Although recently a submerged camera made an amazing discovery. The divers have stated that underneath they're still completely wrapped and green. So after more than a century and just one of hundreds of ships brought down from Lake Michigan storms, why does this ship and these relics still hold such a grip on the professional and casual historians. The fact that he was giving those trees away to the poor down in Chicago, that catches everybody's imagination. Mino, NBC 26. What a great story. If you have a story you think Mino should tackle, email us at minoproject at nbc26.com.